Hello again, this is Afsha and today I want to let you in on one of my best kept styling secrets in 3D fashion. The right way to styling a hoodie and browsewear v-stitcher. This is going to really help you out if you work with brands that create a lot of hooded styles. I know for my clients I've had to style a ton of hoodies so after many many hours of practice I've perfected it. I'm going to show you what's going to easily get you that magic word that we all want to hear in this industry which is approved. So like this video to save it for the next time you're styling a hoodie and subscribe for more. Try the method out and leave a comment to let me know how it goes for you. So for this tutorial I'm using the Albanon size 10 form. It's the straight body, Missy straight. And I've already imported my pattern pieces in so I'm just going to rotate these and then set up my pattern screen to make it easier for me to create this style. Put my cups where they belong and my drawstrings as well. Put them together by the hood and also the aglets as well. Rotate them to the correct orientation and then move them up to where they should be. And then um, any extra corner points, I select those and I turn them into regular points because you don't want excessive seams to be stitching. And then you never want to stitch with the default fabric that doesn't have real physics. So you want to replace it and give double physics to any cuffs and bottom bands. Then I'm selecting all the big pieces and changing the grid to 0.8 and the medium sized pieces changing into 0.5. The drawstrings, I'm going to change that to 0.3 to give it a smaller grid and the little little aglets 0.22. Then the hood pieces, you want to select those and change the layer order to 3 because they're going to sit on top of the body pieces and then the drawstrings, you want to change those layer order to 4 or 5. Then I'm going to arrange on the body, centralize the pieces to make sure they're nice and straight, centered on the body. Put it into prepare mode and fix the arrangement. And then the sleeves, um, they automatically get cus clustered as rounded, so change that to sleeve to wrap it around the whole arm. And then I'll select the sleeve and, ch and change the scale of it to be smaller as well so it fits on there. And the hood pieces go on the side of the head. And then the bottom band on the low waist. And I like to create inner symmetry on my bottom bands and everything really because if I'm making pattern updates to this later it's just going to make my life easier and I won't need to do any restitching if I multi-stitch. So now the stitching part you should basically already know if you're looking at this video. And then my bottom band which I'm going to center and then multi-stitch to the body pieces and then the hood as well and then I can dress but oh I forgot the drawstrings and I'm too lazy to edit this out so let's redo that and then the aglets I want them to be rounded okay so we're gonna dress and it's looking good. I, I usually inspect it make sure there's no um, twisted stitching that I'm going to need to fix right away and there is not. So once that's dressed, I go to the styling tool, I select the brush, I control select my cuff and I move that down and rotate it. And what that does is that's fixing my sleeve, you know, getting rid of some of those twisting drag lines that are happening. And I dress and fix the hem if it's, you know, I also like to create a little bit of loose on in the sleeve. The hem, if it's um, crooked, you fix that with the styling tool as well with the brush, pulling it down using your gizmo. And then um, we want to select those edges of the drawstring because right now they're kind of flat against the body. So you want to change the stitch construction to directional. Anything that's not stitched to anything is going to have automatically a flat stitch so you can change it, give it more depth. And now I'm loading my materials because I want to apply some special materials to that aglet and drawstring to give it more of a realistic texture. So there's a brush metal in the special materials 
and then I, I usually download the Marrow Twill and I don't really, so I'll um, make sure the colors are updated too, you know, to what I'm using. Apply that Marrow Twill fabric, but actually I don't want it to be using the Marrow Twill physics, so I will group it with that fabric I was using. I just want to use a texture for the twill. There you go. Look at that twill texture. That looks like a nice real drawstring, right? So then we're recoloring it. And then the brushed metal, I'm going to apply it to the aglets. And what this gives you is it gives you a really nice metal texture. So you don't need to worry about it not looking like a metal material. So I'm going to add my seams. That single needle, I'm going to offset it by an eighth of an inch and apply it to the neckline, the cuff, bottom hem, you know, bottom opening, the armhole. And then I want to download a button so I can extract the button hole. So we can use it for that hood opening. So then you can extract. I'm gonna apply it to that hood. So I'm just turning my avatar, make sure you can see the buttonhole. And then I like to pull you know, the sleeve in a little bit, make it look cleaner, not too many drag lines. Hold it a little bit there. So for the hood, I'm going to select the center front edges and then offset a, offset a line by whatever the hood turn back is. So in this case it was um, three quarters. And then I turn that into a cut mark and I close that entire cut mark. And I apply in that closed cut mark double physics. And then I dress it and look at what that does. That gives you that like thick edge to show the turn back but right now it's on the outside and we don't want that so if you scroll you select the cut mark you scroll down you so uncheck the outside visible outside that will move that to be on the inside and then i'm offsetting the double needle by 0.8 and applying it to those edges so you see that nice double needle stitch on there and now you've got the thickness on the edge with the double needle and then I'm going to select the top because it's a little bit too forward on her head right now so I sort of brush that and select it and pull it back and then I dress and right now see that's a nice amount sort of spilling over on her forehead and then I brush select the sides and I move them down with the gizmo and out. And at this point, I want to do the one step dress because it might magically get into where I want it to be. So it already is doing that. If you do the one step, you know, and then I'm holding that side. Same thing for this side, holding it, doing the one step to get it to where I want and that's looking you know nice it's got that little drape right exactly where I want it a lot of people really dislike this little wrinkly on the top here so I brush select it and then I shrink retouch that part and maybe a little bit more on the back um let's see so it's looking pretty good just doing a few more adjustments. That top, um, you know, some people don't really like it kind of pointing like that, so you might want to select that and drag it down a little bit to flatten it too. Styling takes a lot of patience and my hands are free right now because obviously this is pre-recorded. I'm not doing this live. We know that. So 
styling takes some patience you know you you don't want to give it time i feel like a lot of people always rush and then you're causing a lot of collision problems because you're pulling things too fast so you want to be very patient with it i'm retouching that area a little bit And this looks, you know, like a pretty realistic hood. So now you want to save that snapshot and you want to style one version down because a lot of um, clients, you know, they're going to want one snapshot of it styled up and one down. So I'm getting rid of all of that styling that I just did. Make sure you save your snapshot before you do that. And then I'm going to brush select that top again, the front edge and then that little over the head and what I do with the gizmo is I pull it back like you would sort of in real life when you're taking off a hood and I do it little by little and then I press dress because I want gravity to assist me here you don't want to pull it back too much but here now you're sort of letting it naturally fall as you pull it back so pull back little by little dress and then you're allowing it to sort of naturally drape where it should And you can do this a, a couple of times if you want it to, you know, fall into a more visually pleasing way. But if it doesn't and you you want to not have to like redo that, all of those steps, then you can just continue styling with the, you know, brush and pinch tool. So I look at my hood from, you know, my garment from all different views. I'm working with it from all different views. might you know pull it down a little bit more in areas I I think what clients really prefer is for it to look very symmetric like uh, styled up or down so right I for my style down hoods I like to you know try to keep it a little bit more organic and let the program sort of just simulate it with gravity in the way it wants and it looks more natural to me in that way but some clients will you know want it to look perfect so it depends on their preference. So I think we're pretty much done here. Then you want to let that finish simulating. But I look at it from every single view, make sure it looks good. And it's looking pretty real, pretty natural. So. Try it out. Let me know what you think.